The country's national capital, Delhi, which is known for its whopping air quality index and smog in its winter months, should start preparing itself for the same this year as well. Those who live in Delhi have been wearing masks way before the pandemic even hit the world because of its air pollution levels, which starts soaring, especially during the winter. But let's get down to understanding how and why that really happens. This year, the late monsoon retreat from the region, as it has already happened in previous years, is going to give Delhi its winter smog. Despite the monsoon arriving well on time this year, it is taking much longer for it to withdraw from parts of northwest India. This year, the monsoon marked its retreat from Delhi on the 28th of September, which is pretty late, as according to predictions, the retreat was ideally supposed to start on the 25th of September. Soon after, the city saw one of the heaviest spells of rain in the second week of October. While the air became cooler after a long, long time, soon after that, Delhi's air quality dipped to poor levels yet again. So this is what really happens as the monsoon begins to retreat towards the end of the season. As the monsoon season comes to a close, an anti-cyclone forms that alters the wind direction. So the monsoon winds then travel from the land back towards the sea. This gives us clear skies and cool breeze. While that may seem like a good sign, it may actually not be. This cool and heavy air tends to settle down and sink closer to the ground. These calmer winds actually end up slowing down the dispersion of pollutants, trapping them instead and causing it to build up profusely in the air. And since the air becomes dense, the air pollutants within that air tend to circulate near the surface. Combine that with Delhi's ever-increasing industrial and vehicular pollution and the city quickly turns into a gas chamber. Additionally, it is not just the settling down of air that gives Delhi its smog. It's also the smoke that enters the city from its surrounding areas from nearby farms. On the farmer's side, here is what happens, especially in the states of Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. When the rainy season extends itself to October, the harvesting process ends up getting delayed across northwest India. And when it finally stops pouring, farmers race against time to finish harvesting to prepare themselves for the next crop season, which can trigger farm fires. Many farmers rush to burn away crop remnants in a shorter span of time as they now have to quickly clear their fields. For instance, the share of stubble burning, which remained well under 2-3%, to which is considered a negligible amount, till 18th October, is expected to suddenly spike after 20th October. Not to mention Diwali, which comes exactly at this season and contributes to several days of steep spike in pollution. For the print, this is Gorvi Narang. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on our social media handles.